Hey, just a real quick little instructional tutorial of a feature that I recently caught in Visual Studio Code that I thought others might like. They built in the ability in a recent update to pull out your windows just like you can with your web browsers and also you can dock them in different places. So I'll just demonstrate it real quick. You just click on a tab as a developer, many of us have multiple tabs open all the time. You click on a tab and you drag it to another area of your screen or another window um, or another monitor that is. And you'll see now you have that code file basically in another editor instance and you're able to work with it um, separately and see your other file side by side. That's a little bit quicker or visually appealing for developers than trying to click between tabs. You can also do a few other things with this, which is cool. Just one thing to note though, when you're moving it, just always click on the tab. Don't try to bring the window back in there. That will not work. So pull the tab, throw it back in up at the top and there it is right back where it came from. And also, not only is it a matter of just pulling it out, you might want to dock it down below, perhaps, and then you have like that split window view, if that is useful to you. You can also throw it to the left, and now you have that same side-by-side -side view of your code, um, almost like looking at um, a diff between two files right there. Um, you can throw it to your right if you want to. So if you didn't want it to your left, you could throw it to your right. Um, as another option so there it is to the right and you can always put it right back where it came from and you can throw multiple tabs into that new window you can throw multiple to the bottom whatever preferences you have it's also another menu available if you were to right click um, you can even clone a window I don't really know why I might clone it but it's quite possible so if you right click um, not only can you move it to a new window you can copy it into a new window and by copying it into a new window, what you'll see here is you get that same file again. And if you're making changes to it, and, and you'll see this side by side, you'll see that you're actually changing the original file too. So just be note of that. If you're probably gonna put it, copy it into a new window, you're probably gonna wanna do a file save as and not likely keep the same name. But I, I guess if you wanna keep multiple, if you wanted to see for some reason um, in a separate window, your changes, maybe you'd want to use that feature. But I thought that was pretty cool. Um, like I said, it wasn't there originally, and uh, many people may not know about it. Uh, so hopefully you would enjoyed this feature. If you're not a current subscriber, please uh, hit that little subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more productivity uh, tutorials in VS Code. Um, if you found this helpful, please uh, share a comment below. Or if you have a question about it, share a comment. Um, and also please feel free to share this to others. I hope you found this useful. Thanks.